up a little made up vegan omelette thing. Cooked up some potatoes, gonna put some chickpea water in, generous spoon of butter, pepper, mash it all together. How would you feel about eating a bowl of mashed potato for breakfast? Sort of turned into mashed potato. I guess I should have really known that from what I'm doing, but I was hoping it would be a bit thicker, but I think I put too much water in. I was gonna fry it all up in a pan. This is definitely the weirdest breakfast I've had. Mashed potato. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Liz. It's all right. <laughs> Tom was very easy to please. Good morning from an extremely sunny Arctic yet again. Uh, it's just crazy the weather we're getting it's unbelievable we are parked at the foot of a glacier yeah as soon as we woke up it's warm sunshine pouring in through the side of the van we're just packing down the van ready to hit that road the this the kistrix van road trip the ultimate road trip so this is our final day on the kistrix van because we have a ferry booked from Bodo, which is the end of a uh, road trip, to Lufferton, and that is tomorrow morning. So we need to finish it today. Uh, there's a few cool sights to see on route, and if it's anything like yesterday, it's going to be awesome. We've just had the best time on this little road trip, this stretch. It's kind of unexpected. A lot of people, I think, rush from fjord country up to Lufferton and miss out this whole section, but this is one of the best bits, honestly. It's just so beautiful. My eyes are popping at what I'm seeing. So if you missed yesterday's episode, we're parked right opposite the Svartizen Glacier. This is Northern Norway's largest glacier. We can have a great view from this parking spot of it, but you can actually get a boat trip over there, but I think it's quite expensive. We're happy to see it from here. So one thing I wasn't really prepared for is that we, we probably do need to be wearing sun cream and wear sunglasses and maybe a sun hat <laughs> because it's so bright here. It feels like the UV is quite high. I think me and Tom actually caught the sun yesterday. Oh, I'm going to go behind the wheel this morning. Israel wanted to leave, but I just think this is such a perfect spot to go in for a swim that we have to. It's like really sheltered. The water is crystal clear. So we're going to have a dip, start the day with a cold dip. One of the main reasons, main reasons I want to leave is because I said I was driving and then because I, I get nervous about driving, I kind of want to just get it done with, but it's fine. It, I would love to swim. We are in the Arctic, we are beneath a glacier and we're going swimming. I mean, we're in the Arctic. Oh, we got the meat, we got the mic on. We got the mic on. We got the mic on. Uh oh, we've just realised we've left the media the mod on for the GoPro and we've been underwater. I just went in and forgot we had the media, media mod on, which isn't waterproof. Wow, that was amazing. What an amazing swim. Look at this place. And the water, like, is not as cold as I was expecting. And it's crystal clear, it's beautiful. That was so good. And I think we've had a lucky escape. Um, the media mod seems to be more waterproof than they advertise. Uh, so it seems like it's working. I'm just letting it, letting it dry in the wind windscreen. And we're going to drive on. Woo! Such a good way to start the day. We've just pulled over um, a little way down the road where it says you can go swimming because well, as we're driving past the beaches around here look tropical they're insane so we want to get out and have a look the more i'm out here the more glad 
glad I am. We've already had our swim and our wash. There's definitely a bit more of a breeze here. I'm glad we went in when we did. It, is, it was so nice though. Oh, I dip my feet in. Winning. So if you'd like to come here too, this area is called Ured Plassen. You should pop it into Google Maps and it takes you right here. Now Ured actually means fearless and this area is named after a submarine called Ured which actually went out during the Second World War to try and find an ore mine that was really important to the German war industry. Um, this area of the sea was declared safe by the British intelligence but Unfortunately, um, it wasn't the case. And for 42 years, no one knew what had happened to Ured. And then in 1985, they actually found the wreckage of the submarine with a massive hole in it, and it had hit a German mine. So a year later, they declared the area where they found the wreckage a war grave. just pulled up here on the side of the road just to eat some food really. Uh, it has got some amazing views of mountains around us. <laughs> oh, oh I just ate so much lunch. <sighs> Hard to walk when you're this full. This landscape is really otherworldly. There's just this exposed rock everywhere. We walked down to where we could see the lakes, but it's turned into a very short hike because we're turning back. We're both quite full and I feel like I need a coffee. So guys, we are at a natural wonder. We are at Salzstraumen, the world's largest tidal current. Now this is a little part of the fjord spanning between two fjord basins, the Schur Fjord and the Salten Fjord. So here at Salzstraumen you get the fastest currents at high and low tide. It was high tide at one and now it's about half three so we're not going to see it at its fastest unfortunately. We really wish we'd planned ahead a bit more and came here at the low or high tide but we can't wait around here till seven-ish. You might think that this is looking pretty ferocious tide here at the moment. And I mean it is, but when it's at its peak, it's apparently like a bubble bath. It's flying down there. Within a six hour period, 400 million square meters of water pass through this channel. And it will travel at speeds up to 20 knots. So when it is at its peak, it will create whirlpools that can be up to 10 meters across and five meters deep. So this current is so big here because there is a huge fjord and this whole fjord is filling up with water and draining every time the tide comes in and out. And this whole fjord is all channeled through this one little area. I would say make sure you check the times. There are like places online you can find it uh, for the, like it tells you how fast the currents are and stuff. So try and time it so that you come when it's at its peak. We've just uh, stopped just shy of Bodder. Uh, because we want to try and get some supplies before we head over to Lufton. So we're going to do a shop in uh, Rema 1000, which apparently is the cheapest supermarket. Those people have said the veg section up north would be quite poor, but this looks really good. Yeah. I'm impressed. So there's something kind of controversial about Norway you might not know. There's actually only two countries in the world which haven't signed the convention on whaling uh, to agree to stop whaling. And one of them is Norway, and you can in fact buy whale meat here in the supermarket. I want to treat myself, I'm going to buy a bag of crisps. 
So I was looking for oat milk and I actually realised that the cheapest one is Oatly, which is the most expensive at home, but I guess because it's Scandinavian made. Uh, ooh, kidney bonnet and chilli sauce, how are you? Just little thick beans. Ah, we've arrived at our spot in uh, Bordeaux and we are literally parked right under the ship so we are going to get there we won't get lost in the morning we'll get there on time because our ferry is leaving at 7 a.m and we have to get there at 6 a.m and start queuing we're actually going to be saying goodnight now because we're going to be hitting up lufton early tomorrow morning it might look like it's still midday but actually it's the evening and thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed it please give us a like and if you haven't yet please subscribe it would be great if you could come join us for these daily adventures Wow, what a road trip. Yeah, it's been fantastic. It's been so good. Such a good way if to get up here. If you're coming up to the north, don't skip past us. Do this long route.